Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. All right, guys, so this is going to be an, an Aries Sun, Moon and Rising, a weekly tarot reading for the 29th of July up to a 4th of August. Uh, excuse me. Uh, it's, yeah, up to 4th of August, a 2019. I thought that it's just, you know, kind of like got winded. And um, when you work from home, it is very easy to lose track of time. But yeah, it's a reading for Aries for the week of a 29th of July up to 4th of August 2019. And uh, just bear with me a second to shuffle the cards. And we're going to jump a straight away uh, into the reading. <clears throat> All right, so... Uh, the first card which stands for your topic of the week, Aries, is going to be the Six of Pentacles, followed by the second card which stands for the challenges that you will have to overcome throughout the month, and that is going to be the Eight of Wands, followed by the third card which represents the uh, positive aspect of the week itself. We do have the Queen of Pentacles and then the last card which represents the guidance the Tarot is offering to you guys. That will be the Knight of Wands. Okay, so uh, <clears throat> uh, this uh, week is going to be a week of internal struggle, if we may put it that way. So uh, generally the way that I see the cards here, it is like, you know, you are going to do your things throughout the week. And uh, there are to be some sort of a, um, how do I say, it? you know, let's say um, a new opportunity is coming around, which you may be a bit tempted to take on. And there are going to be a, a person next to you, all right, which is a quite faithful, who is going to help you focus on what you have right now to do instead of, you know, winding yourself with this kind of new unapproved kind of like a pats, if I may uh, say it that way. But before we go there, let's uh, run down the cards one more time. We do have the Six of Pentacles, which is the general topic of the week, followed by the uh, challenges here of the Eight of Wands. Afterwards, it is the uh, Queen of Pentacles and then the final card here, which stands as a uh, guidance that is to be the Knight of Wands. So Six of Pentacles, it is a, a card of a, a confirmation and it is because we do have a, um, on a positive aspect, we do have a person here. We know now that the Six of Pentacles is not about a futile help. So what the Six of Pentacles is, if it is not in generally for a, a futile help that you may take, well, it is about the current, all right? It is like a uh, that things are to go as they are supposed to go because uh, it's it's like the card oppresses hierarchy or exerts hierarchy into one situation, either regarding your career or either regarding your marriage. So the topic here for throughout this week for you, Aries, is do not leave things undone, even if it may cost you some additional time, which probably is going to be the case. Uh, 
throughout the week, you know, you are going to have things to do and in the same time you would want to be somewhere else, which is the challenge here to, how can I place it, to focus more upon finalizing your current things that you are or endeavors that you are doing either into your career or either into your relationship. But on top of all that as well, the Six of Pentacles is also about a, a small portion of creativity in a sense of that um, uh, it's it's by a very long shot, guys, but it's not something unheard of when the Six of Pentacles, it's it plays its role, especially in a grand position like that. It does point to where one does things things even uh, with with means and with resources where it's very difficult to pull through okay so even if you feel that you don't have the resources to pull something through should you put the um the versatility behind and the creativity behind it is very likely that you can do so the accompanied card here is going to be the hangman formation passive uh, passive friends that we do have so with the hangman uh, most definitely that week it is pretty much preset okay uh, either by your current either by your plans that you did in the previous week or in the previous months or either because you took some obligations that you will have to execute throughout the week but Generally, with the hangman and the six of pentacles, there is nothing much that you can do to break off the routine that you alone preset it in throughout this week, which isn't bad necessarily, all right? I mean, you can set yourself on a road to achieve great stuff, but if you have done something, uh, some things which are not contributing very well for you, all right, and for your growth, you will have to deal with them, all right? There is no uh, way around them. So that leads us to the next card, which represents the challenges here. And that will be the eight of uh, wands. So apart from these are those kind of like uh, destruction type of a um, opportunities that comes around or activity. I, I will classify them as an enterprises because they are not even an opportunities, all right? They're enterprises, which you can get carried away by. Uh, devouring your time, not allowing you completely to focus upon your main endeavors that you will have to sort out throughout the week. So you need to be extremely disciplined and uh, consistent as well with, uh, with whatever you're trying to do, not allowing, you know, things, propositions, you know, or even the weather to to push you through and by the weather i mean that let's say that in tuesday you gotta go somewhere all right to do something that you have already pre-scheduled and it's a very rainy day there is a storm outside well you may kind of try to pull it as in an excuse not to go and do what you have already promised or what you have already set up for yourself but unfortunately that way you are to make a lot of damage to yourself and to your growth moving on forward. The accompanied card here is going to be the two of ones formation. It is a active supporters that we do have. And I would have said that with the third card, all right? But here we do have a confirmation pre the third card. So with these two, uh, basically they point to unfound potential in your current endeavor. So you can definitely extend, you know, the positive uh, <clears throat> outcome. Excuse me for my stuttering here. So you can you can definitely extend the positive outcome and prolong it into the future. That being said, uh, let's say that you have scheduled a date with someone, all right? Making an excuse not to go to a date because probably you had a change of heart, all right? For one or another reason, let's say that you are a man, all right? And you have scheduled a date with a woman but of on Wednesday. But on Monday, you meet that and uh, that other girl, uh, which also have a potential for you to schedule a date. Well, you already took an obligation and you have to go by with this obligation. But what these two cards here are pointing is that you are denying yourself to assume that there is more potential into the date that you have already scheduled. And that's why you will you may be more prone, you know, to um, bear on it and try with the new date. Well, that should not be an option for you. You have to be determined to bring the things you have preset for yourself 
up to their very end. And this is what that person which stands by your side is going to urge you to do so. We do have the Queen of Pentacles, very proud woman, self-absorbed uh, person, I would say. I, I said woman because it's a queen, you know, but it could be as well a man. Anyway, <clears throat> so a, a very absorbed person, someone who does care what others think, someone who does care how solid they are on the ground in a sense of that how well they have secured their wealth, their position, you know, and as well uh, <clears throat> how they generally look in the other's eyes. And for that reason, you know, that person itself is going to keep you grounded, not allowing you to presume that the worst is to happen. On the contrary, you know, they will going to help you to um, start kind of like taking under account that there are a um, potential here to for unexplored for yourself into the endeavors that you have already preoccup preoccupied yourself with. Uh, the accompanied card here is going to be the the um, five of uh, swords formation. It is a, a passive enemies, and uh, that, that this is a, just can be said in only one sentence. What that person is going to show you and is going to uh, make you determined about. I don't know how to say it in English. It's more like convince you into. All right, is that you have no limits. All right, maybe yeah, maybe you have you are starting a little bit on the downside here. <clears throat> but that doesn't mean that you cannot take the upper hand, all right? <clears throat> and probably this person is going to lay out a or revoke a an, an example which comes from themselves just to show you how wrong you are to bear on something that, like I said, you have preset for yourself. And that being said, this leads us to the last card here of the reading, which stands for the guidance. We do have the Knights of Wands, so this is you guys, this is you, Irises. And the Knights of Wands is simply <clears throat> a, uh, a <clears throat> very enterprising person. So you need to be an enterprising person who is not afraid to do whatever it takes to bring things to their very end, okay? And should you start doing so, <clears throat> apart from this Queen of Pentacles type of thing, a another people are going to try or are going to at least propose you to have a, a helping hand from their behalf, all right? So you ain't, going, you ain't going to be alone in all that, especially if you are trying to deal with a, a difficult type of a, a situation, you know, that you have, like I said, preset for yourself. Uh, the accompanied card here is going to be the Ten of Wands formation, a active uh, supporters. <clears throat> so it's just a confirmation that you need to be ready to do whatever it takes simply as the uh, Ten of Wands stands. But the Ten of so the ten of Wands, excuse me, gives us a little bit more understanding and it does point that actually what you are after here, it's a uh, awesome opportunity, all right? Or in an awesome enterprise that at the end, you know, uh, you can withdraw from it a great deal of benefit. However, with the Ten of Wands, you also need to be able to maintain it as well. So do not try to swallow a, a, a bigger piece than you are actually capable to push through, okay? So that being said, Aries, this was your a weekly tarot reading for a um, July 29th to August 4th, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys, and we're going to see each other around. Until then, bye.